Uh, my name is Gabriel Hangara. I'm the development manager for Comeho, and I'm also responsible for the Benhe RDC. We have benefited from the Big Lottery Fund. Um, the Big Lottery project has been a very good project for us because it has been a springboard for us. Uh, we have learned a lot of uh, lessons from it. Uh, for example, to work with the champions, champions meaning uh, to work with those communities or, or even those uh, households that are committed. Um, and we also have also learned a lot in terms of uh, the selection of the target communities and also the, the selection of the beneficiaries. Um, from this, we have also learned see that uh, since uh, since the region is uh, very, very big, it, it will not be good to maybe like you know, spread yourself uh, too much, but maybe focus on a on a on a, on a, on a specific locality and uh, do your work there. Then Came from then move to on. Bravo in 2007, and the situation during that time it, it was unbearable. There was a lot of uh, uh, food uh, insecurity, and uh, to come really like now this year, I'm honestly amazed. Uh, people are now well taking care of themselves. He, um, uh, uh, if one look at the food production aspect, and also if you also look at the crop uh, crops diversity. So uh, here we at the one of our model farmer, is Pete Housep. Here he uh, is very hardworking and is eager to learn. He's been attending all the uh, uh, trainings and the advice we've given him. And due to that one, also we have give, assigned him the, to have the uh, donkey carts that is using to uh, for uh, as a means of transport in their settlement farm and also the other farms where he can offer services, transport services, and also transport as you see like those wood they transport with the donkey carts, and he also received the rabbits uh, for which can use as as we said for uh, food for meat production for his uh, household and uh, yeah it's, it's very interesting farmers which is a, a lot of potential which you can able to grow and graduate into, into yes, um, semi-commercial This is my she is one of our best farmer at the Bravo Settlement Farm. She is an elderly woman, so more than almost 70 years old and she is very hard working and she, as you see, at the moment she's busy threshing the beans mm. which she have just harvested from the field. There are still some beans in the field which she need to harvest. And she's using a, a bottle as a tool, technology to thresh the bean. So let them mean that living in what is in her means. And yeah, she's very incredible. She's very hardworking. She's the best farmer. Okay. With her uh, natural uh, pumpkins, which she have planted, these pumpkins usually you can just cook them. Then you uh, make a mix with a flour, either mahangu or maize flour. Then you make a very nice soft porridge for the household. She's uh, uh, we it, uh, we introduce this and, and try to diversify this type of crops, as we earlier stated for really to diversify the food security. And she's doing incredible well. She has adapted the technology and the advices with the uh, assistant from our agriculture Philemon. She's doing very good. <laughs> Wapo likoa, wapo likoa, kambi amu apenaga poretago. 